the Dajjal is a false messiah. He is the Antichrist, as he is the opposite of Jesus in many ways. The Dajjal is a major sign of the apocalypse. His arrival will signify that the world is nearing its end. He will be sent by God as a test, the greatest of trials for mankind. In his possession will be the treasures of the earth, mountains of gold, silver, jewels. Every material thing that mankind desires will be with him in abundance. The weather will be at his command. He can make the heavens open up and the clouds pour forth with rain so that crops grow and are plentiful. Likewise, he will also be able to withhold the rain, causing drought and killing crops. With these abilities, he will create a great dependency on himself and attract the masses who will flock to him. Eventually, he will declare himself to be God and will be worshipped as such. In this way, much of mankind will be deceived, selling their hereafter for worldly gain and ending up in the fire. Now you may be thinking that the Dajjal is some far off threat that will happen long after you're dead and buried, so why worry about it? But the reality is that our hearts and minds are already being conditioned and programmed to accept the message of the Dajjal, and many of us don't even realise it. New Atheism, which is a liberal atheistic movement that has been sweeping the West for the last few decades, is priming the world for the Dajjal's arrival. What are the principles of New Atheism? Firstly, the rejection of religion. Religion is undermined through mockery and the normalisation of blasphemy. Secondly, empiricism. This is the idea that one should only believe in what can be experienced through the senses. If something cannot be seen, touched, smelt or heard, then it cannot be accepted. God and all aspects of the supernatural are therefore rejected. Thirdly, materialism. Emphasising worldly matters above the spiritual, and claiming superiority based on scientific and technological advances. This unholy trinity of new atheism, the rejection of religion, the emphasis on empiricism, and the increase in materialism is exactly the fodder that the Dajjal needs to create dependency on himself, attract the masses as followers, and ultimately be worshipped as God. The Dajjal will satisfy the atheist demand that they see God. If they're demanding a physical God, well, that's what the Dajjal is going to be defying all scientific explanation by performing signs and wonders before their very eyes. With regards to materialism, those inclined towards greed, those inclined towards selfishness, shall join his ranks. Sound far-fetched? In recent pandemics, we've seen people going crazy, literally fighting, over simple creature comforts like toilet paper. Now just imagine how anxious people will become when essentials for life such as food, water and shelter, are taken away. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, taught that in order to protect ourselves against the Dajjal, we should recite the first 10 verses of the chapter of the Quran known as Al-Kahf, the cave. The ninth verse of the chapter of the cave draws our attention to a particular story known as the sleepers of the cave. This story relates to some youths who lived in a land of idolatry. Out of their strong devotion to God, they fled from their people. The verses go on to say, this shows us that faith is the most precious and important thing in our lives. It must be safeguarded and protected at all costs. With regards to the Dajjal, it will be best to stay away from him, even if it means fleeing to a remote cave. Here we are directed to avoid the worship of idols, statues, carved images, human beings, and anything besides God. This goes directly against the Dajjal's plot to be worshipped as God. 
وَإِذْ اعْتَزَلْتُمُوهُمْ وَمَا يَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهَ فَأْوُوا إِلَى الْكَهْفِ يَنْشُرْ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ وَيُهَيِّئْ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَمْرِكُمْ مِرْفَقًا Note here the theme of belief in the unseen and putting your trust in and relying on God. This goes directly against the empiricism of new atheism. In summary, we can see that the plots of the Dajjal and the pillars of new atheism are explicitly denied throughout this chapter of the Quran. It's important to understand the reason why the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, directed us to the chapter of the cave for protection. It is not blind recitation, nor the sounds of the words that will protect us. Rather, it's the study of its verses, the contemplation of its meaning and the enactment of its lessons in our lives that will protect us.